Welcome to another Adobe Illustrator series on how to draw a car. This illustration is going to be of a Mugen Civic that I saw while on a trip to the Philippines. This series will cover the drawing from start to finish, and I will try to show you as much of it as I can without these videos getting too long. I intend to showcase small mistakes and how I fix them along the way in an effort to not have this series be a direct repeat of the last one. Oh, and be sure to go follow that car artist on Instagram if you don't already. I've also just launched a Patreon account, which I'll link below. I'm just getting started with it, and my intentions for starting it is to keep the Adobe subscription going as well as saving for a tablet so I can create content using a tablet as well. Okay, enough of all of this, let's get into Illustrator. All right, so I'm gonna press P on my keyboard to bring up the pen tool. And I'm just looking for a good place to start. And remember to drag those anchor points out to bring the line kind of where you want it. And we're just going to zoom in so I can show you a little better. Don't watch where I click the anchor point. Watch right where this red arrow is, how I bring that line up to meet the body line of the car. Okay. Now we can just hold space bar to bring up that little hand and pull, pull our image around so that we can see where we're going to illustrate next. And then I'm just going to continue drawing the main shape of this car. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. But essentially every one of my drawings begins with getting kind of the main shape of the car outlined and drawn. This, this is important because this is kind of where everything lives. Everything uh, that you're gonna build on from here uh, will live on top of this layer essentially. And I like to duplicate it at the end and then use just a stroke to, uh, to lay on top of it to polish it up. So now we're gonna take the original JPEG and take it to its own layer and we're gonna call this original. And this is important so I can lock it and I can turn it off and on whenever I need to so that I can see what I'm doing. So now we've seen that we've got our main shape drawn and then we are just gonna move on to getting a few different squares of colors ready so that when we're ready to start building the, uh, the shading on this, we kind of have a basic idea of the colors that we're gonna be doing are using. So in order to do this, I'll draw a couple of squares, I'll get my eyedropper tool, and then I'll kind of just select around. And this is almost like mixing your paints together before you start a painting. So now I have an idea of what to start with. All right, so we're going to move those off to the side, lock the original layer, and then select a fill for this main shape. And then now we're gonna start the body lines. So we're gonna create a new layer and we'll call this body lines. And then this is where I use the pen tool again and I just kind of outline all of these lines that separate the doors, separate the bumper from the quarter panels, uh, separate the lip, basically anything that you are going to assign a stroke to. Now I wanna change the color of this stroke. So I'm going to select V on my keyboard to bring up my move tool and double click on the stroke here to bring up the color picker. And I'm just gonna bring that up to a magenta. This enables me to see everything so much better and I can cover more of the body lines faster and basically know what I've done and what I haven't done. Uh, so when I zoom out to see if I've forgotten anything, having a bright color uh, will help you be able to determine if you have missed something or not. If you made everything black and zoomed out to check on it with the background layer still on, 
you probably will miss a, a few key details. So those are all of our body lines and I'm fine with that. Okay, moving on. I think I'm going to draw the windows uh, really quick, just as a reference point, not really adding the details. So we're gonna start a new layer and double click double click on this white box to bring up the layer options dialog box and I'm going to change this to yellow and then I'm going to name this layer windows. Okay I've enlarged my layers palette so you can see a little bit of the issue that I'm about to run into or you might run into if you don't lock the layers that you aren't working on. So here I'm working on the windows layer or so I thought and I accidentally jump back over to the body lines layer, which is unlocked by clicking this point right here in green. So I need to be on the windows layer, which is yellow. And by having this anchor point turn green and me clicking it, I subsequently jump over to the body lines layer without even realizing it. This is why I'm such a stickler personally with trying to keep my layers palette as organized as I possibly can and keep all layers that I'm not working on locked. So as you can see here, when I release the mouse to create this line, everything turns green, effectively taking that path down to the body lines layer. So here I am reminding myself that I need to keep that layer locked. All right, I'm just gonna finish drawing out the windows and I will come back to these later. This is just to get them started so that I know where they are and we can come back and add the details to the window layer uh, later on in the illustration. This will just, these now, these shapes will serve as reference points when, uh, when we're filling in the coloring of the car. So just select uh, a very basic gray for now and then we're going to do the wing at the very end as well so we can just draw right over the top of it. All right, I think that's where I'm going to end today's video. We have essentially drawn the basic outline, the body lines, and the beginning of what will become the windows. So now our file is set up to start the shading layers and we have all these nice little reference points already built in and ready to go. As always, thanks for watching and hitting that like button. If you're interested in more Adobe Illustrator CC tutorials and other car related nonsense, consider subscribing and hitting that bell. Also, be sure to check out my Instagram and Patreon pages, which are linked below, and I will catch you guys in the next one.